securing an assertion and encrypting data within the assertion is a critical part of partnership configuration. In Federation, private keys and certificates are required for the following key tasks. Federation components use private key or certificate pairs for signing, verification, encryption, and decryption of entire assertions, or specific assertion content. Federation components employ client certificates for back-channel authentication for artifact single sign-on. This video will demonstrate the configuration for signing or verifying an authentication request, an encryption or decryption of entire assertion. In the SAML 2.0, service provider initiated transaction. An organization can use either a self-signed certificate or can have their certificate signed by a certificate authority. In this video, we will be using self-signed certificate. Let's start with the identity provider side. Open the CA SiteMinder administrative UI. Specify the login credentials and click login. Click the infrastructure tab. Now, let's click the X509 certificate management link. Click trusted certificates and private keys. To generate a CSR and a self-signing certificate, click request certificate. Specify the certificate details to create a private key and certificate for the identity provider side. Note, this scenario uses non fips algorithm. After specifying the details, click Save. Scroll down and observe it has created a certificate signing request. Remember, this action also creates a self-signing certificate. Scroll up, and click Trusted Certificates and Private Keys. Observe that the private key and certificate is created. The signing status is self-signed and it is non-FIPS compliance. From the action drop-down list, click Export. The details get displayed. Set the format as X509, DER to generate .CR file. Note the self-signed certificate carries both public and private key. In this scenario, we will export the public key. So, click Export. Scroll down. Note the file is exported in .cer format. Remember, we need to import this .cer file in the service provider side. Now, browse to the CA SiteMinder administrative UI of service provider side. Specify the login credentials and click login. Now let's create the private key and certificate in the service provider side. Click the infrastructure tab. Now, let's click the X509 certificate management link. Click Trusted Certificates and Private Keys. Click Request Certificate. Similarly, specify the details to create a private key and certificate for the service provider side. Then, click Save. Scroll down and observe it has created a certificate signing request. In case you need a certificate, you need to submit this request to Certificate Authority. Scroll up. Return to Trusted Certificates and Private Keys page. Observe the private key and the self-signing certificate having public key is created. Earlier, we had exported public key from the identity provider side. To import that public key, click Import New. Click Browse. Select the certificate file that needs to be imported and click Open. Click Next. Note the certificate is added in the list of entries. Set the alias. In this scenario. It is named as education-idp-public key for convenience. Then, click Next to continue. Verify the details and click Finish. The message confirms that the certificate is successfully imported. So, in the service provider side, we have public key from identity provider side, and private key from the service provider side. The next task is to export the public key from the service provider side. So, click Actions. From the pop-up menu, select Export. Click again Export to export the certificate. Scroll down. Observe the file is exported in .cer format. Now this exported file needs to be imported in the Identity Provider side. So, browse to the Identity Provider side. Open the Trusted Certificates and Private Keys page, and click Import New. Click Browse. Select the certificate file that needs to be imported and click Open. Click Next. As you did earlier, set the alias. In this scenario, it is named as education-sp-public key for convenience. Then, 
Click next to continue. View the details and then click finish. So, in the identity provider side, we have a private key for the identity provider and public key for the service provider. Now, let's again browse to the service provider administrative UI. In this side, we have public key for the identity provider and private key for the service provider. The next task is to configure federation as per the table. First, let's configure partnership in the identity provider side. Open the identity provider administrative UI. Click the federation tab. Click partnerships. In this scenario, we will be using an existing application. Let's deactivate the same to modify the application. Click yes to confirm deactivation. Then from the actions drop down list, click modify. Click the signature and encryption step. Under signature section, set the signing private key alias as education-idp-private key. Set the verification certificate alias as education-sp-public key. Set the post signature options as sign assertion, SLO SOAP signature options as sign neither. Check the required signed authentication requests checkbox. Under encryption section, check the encrypt assertion checkbox. Set the encryption certificate alias as education-sp-public key. Then, click next. View the details and click finish. Activate the application. Click yes to confirm the same. Message confirms that the partnership is activated. The next task is to configure the partnership in the service provider side. Browse to the CA SiteMinder administrative UI of service provider side. Click the Federation tab. Click Partnerships. This time also we will use an existing application. Let's deactivate the same to modify the application. Click Yes to confirm deactivation. Then from the Actions drop down list, click Modify. Click the Signature and Encryption step. Similarly, specify the signature and encryption details. Then, click the Confirm step. Review the details and click Finish. Message confirms that the application is modified. Activate the same. Click Yes to confirm activation. The message confirms that the application is activated. For this scenario, the need auto sample web page is used. We are on the home page of service provider. Now, let's click the here link to access a protected service provider application. The access gets restricted as we don't have an active session and provides us an option to authenticate by the identity provider side. We get landed in the service provider side. Observe that the signature is getting generated based on our set configuration. Open the SM trace default FWS log file. Observe that the signature got validated as the request came from service provider is valid. Note the response is in clear text. Observe the response text showing the assertion signing with the ID. After signing, note the assertion is getting encrypted. Observe the encrypted assertion ensuring the security of the encrypted data. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit www.ca.com/education.